guys. Okay, so for today, identifying solutions of a linear inequality, there's really nothing to write down in our notes that we haven't already written. So I'm just going to go over number one so that you know how to complete this assignment. So using the graph, you're going to select two points that are solutions of the inequality. And then you're going to verify that by plugging it in. So pick two points. You can pick negative 2, 1, and 1, 5. Negative 2, 1, and 1, 5. Make sure to write your x first and then your y. And so we're going to prove that these are solutions. So negative 2, 1, and 1, 5. By plugging them into y is greater than 2x plus 1. So we have our x and we have our y. So we plug in 1 for y is greater than 2 times x, which is negative 2 plus 1. So 1 is greater than 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is 1 greater than negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3. Yes, and that's why it's in the shaded region, because it makes that inequality true. Let's plug in 1 for x and 5 for y. For 2, y is greater than 2x plus 1. So we have 5, is that greater than 2 times x, which is 1, plus 1? So we have 5 is greater than 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Is 5 greater than 3? Yes, it is. Okay, and then let's prove why this region is not part of the solution. So the easiest point to always use is the point 0, 0. So not a solution. 0, 0, and we're going to show why. 0, 0 is not a solution because y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1 when x is 0 and y is 0. 0 is that greater than or equal to 2 times 0 plus 1. We have 0 is greater than or equal. 2 times 0 is just 0. So is 0 greater than or equal to 1? No. That's not true and that's why it is not a solution. Okay, go ahead and complete your assignment.